Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today it's time for a new video and I'm going to be doing the end of the year book tag. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So the first question is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? So I have three that are like books that I really started. Actually, I just thought of another one. So I have four. <laughs> and those books are ones that I actually like really started because I often read, you know, like two chapters of a book, then just prioritize other things. But like these books are actually ones that I read at least a hundred pages and I would really hate not to finish them. So let's talk about them. The first one is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. You can see the bookmark. <laughs> I didn't read that much of it. I got to page... Okay, I actually didn't read 100 pages, but I got to page 87. And I don't know what it is. I got this book years ago, and I was so fucking excited about it to the point where I thought, like, I'm gonna adore this book, and I want the perfect moment for it. I want it to have, like, a spectacular reading experience, and then... Months went by and here we are now and I just feel like I've had the feeling of like I need to get to this, I need to finish it and that has made me not want to read it as much but it's a five star prediction. I think I'm going to adore this and from everything that I've heard about it I just think it's going to be a lovely magical experience and in case you didn't know this is a YA fantasy about Lazlo Strange who is a librarian and he's a dreamer and he goes on this journey to the lost city of Weep. And that's all that I know about it. I just have heard that it's magical and beautiful and lyrically written. The next book that I have here is Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tomi Adeyemi. This is the sequel to Children of Blood and Bone. And I, I adored Children of Blood and Bone. I gave it five stars. It was incredible. I loved it. Uh, in case you don't know, it's about Zelly, who goes on a journey to basically restore magic to the world. Is the simplest way to put it, and it's like a journey story, and there's a group of characters, and I just loved the characters. I was so invested. It was just incredible. Since it's been a while since I read the first book, I just don't feel that connection to the characters as strongly. And also, the main thing I feel like why it's taken me so long is because... There haven't been the best reviews, and um, not that, you know, bad reviews mean the book is bad and that you won't like it. I've definitely learned that this year, but still, you know, it kind of made me a little bit intimidated. And I read 114 pages. I definitely, I don't think this is going to be a five star from what I read at the beginning, but I do think that it's going to be a book that I actually can read really quickly. Like if I actually sit down and read it, I think it's going to be really quick to read. And I just, I want to see where the story goes. I still think that I'm really going to enjoy this and I do love the characters and I want to see what they do next. And so this is also going to be happening. And then the uh, other one that I have physically is Of Curses and Kisses by Sandy Eminen. I actually got an arc of this and it was the first physical arc that I ever got and actually since then I haven't gotten another one but <laughs> I it was so like special and it happened so randomly because whatever but I was super excited about it. But then for some reason, I don't know, um, I didn't manage to get to it before it came out and I started it and I got to page 140 and I haven't finished it. <laughs> I'm actually buddy reading this with a friend of mine and I will definitely make her and me read this before the end of the year, but I adore Sandhya Menon, okay? Like, I love her book so much. She's definitely one of my absolute favorite authors, but this book I feel like is definitely like has a very slow start. And I think that the part that I got to, like, is going to get more fun from now on. But the beginning was just really slow and I felt like nothing really happened. And I wasn't super invested. But I do think that, like, I do want to read it. And I think that it's going to be really fun, like, from the point that I got to. And this is basically a contemporary fantasy about an Indian princess who comes to this um boarding school and she has a plan to get revenge on this dude who is a british do they call it like aristocrat or some shit and <laughs> yes and it's also like a retelling modern day contemporary retelling of 
Beauty and the Beast. And then an ebook that I have is Daughter Smoke and Bone by also Lainey Taylor. And I got to 30% of that book and I was actually really enjoying it, but I was reading it for a video and again, I kind of had that feeling of like, I felt like I had to finish it and when I feel like I have to do something, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> so um, I was actually really liking it. So why a um, urban fantasy and um, it has a lot of magical creatures and the main character works for this kind of like suspicious guy and collects like teeth for him and so she travels around the world and runs into all kinds of magical shit and trouble and it actually was really fun and like really unique for like the time that it was published and so I really want to finish this one as well. Finally, moving on to the second question is, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? I decided to choose another book that I haven't read yet that I really want to read that I feel like feels like that a little bit to me, and that is Forest of Souls by Laurie and Lee. I don't know much at all about this. Um, I just know that it's a YA fantasy. It has necromancy in it. The main character wants to, like, prove herself to be able to like be this um this right here says uh, i have no family no home no talent other than fighting if i'm not to be the shadow then i am nothing i'm tired of being nothing so she wants to become the shadow i'm not completely sure what it means but this to me has kind of like spooky a little bit like halloween fall vibes and so i did kind of want to read this in october but it's definitely a book that I would like to read before we transition into winter. The next question is, is there a new release you're still waiting for? So I actually try, again, we're making this video quick, so I only picked one book, even though um, there's definitely like more, <laughs> but I'm more excited for books that are coming out next year. Oh my gosh, I just thought of a book. Okay, I'm gonna say two, because <laughs> I just, I have to, okay? So um, the one that I picked first was Written in the Stars by Alexandra Belfleur. This is a sapphic adult romance. They say that it's kind of like Bridget Jones meets Pride and Prejudice. And it's a sapphic rom-com, which is everything I want in life. And the, <laughs> the cover is everything. And I desperately need to get a physical copy of this book. And I'm so fucking excited for this. And this is coming out on... Hold on. Oh, my God. Wait. Oh my gosh, this is coming out today? What the fuck? I thought this was next week. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna need to buy this. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to read it immediately, but I also need to get a physical copy, which is gonna take ages. <sighs> okay, you need to get this book ASAP, because it just came out, for fuck's sake. I- oh my god, okay. <laughs> Yes, I need this right now. So I am definitely very much waiting for this. And I, <clears throat> and the other book is um, How to Catch a Queen by Alyssa Cole. This is the start of a new series by her. I adore the Reluctant Royal series by Alyssa Cole. I read it in literally like one week, the entire thing. And I can't wait for this. I don't know much about this, but it's an arranged marriage and it's by Alyssa Cole and it's a royal romance and that's all that I want to know and I'm so fucking excited for this. So this one is coming out on December 1st. The next question is what are three books you want to read before the end of the year? So picking only three was really hard but I, I mean the ones that I really want to read are the ones that I said that I want to like finish but ones that I haven't started yet that I absolutely want to get to is the first one is The Trials of Apollo and The Tower of Nero. This is absolutely gonna happen, like 100%. <laughs> but um, I've been procrastinating on this. This came out at the beginning of October and I've been procrastinating on it cause I don't want it to be over. And I want to reread the entire series and I'm gonna do a spoilery vlog of that. So stay tuned. I do feel kind of dumb for like not doing that earlier cause I'm like, are people gonna be still interested in it? But at the same time, by that time, hopefully the people who are interested in it will have finished it too. So. Um, I'm scared. I adore this series. It's probably my favorite Rick Riordan series. <sighs> and please, if you have read this, tell me so that we can scream about it once I read it because I need someone else who reads this and loves this so that I can scream to them about it. Then, um, I have Beach Read by Emily Henry. I still haven't read this. 
and it was one of my most anticipated books of the year and I do still think that I'm gonna love this but because of all the hype about it and like all the mixed opinions from people on booktube I've been hesitant to read this and I kind of wanted to wait for the buzz to die down a little bit so that I could just kind of read it on my own and like enjoy it without all of the noise and so I would love to read this before the end of the year I do think that I will it's not like I have to read it, but it would be great. So, yes. And then the other one is another very popular book, and that is Crescent City by Sarah J. Mass. It came out when I was like, when everything started happening and the world went fucking nuts. So, yes, but I would really like to get to this, and I think that I will definitely read it very soon. The next question is, is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? I <laughs> don't really have an answer to this question because I read so much and I have so many plans still before the end of the year to read so many different books that I'm sure I will find new favorites. Like literally before the end of the year I could read like 50 books and so it wouldn't surprise me and like I have books that I think I'm gonna adore like Apollo and Crescent City and Beach Read and literally all the books that I've talked about in this video, you know, like Written in the Stars, I really hope I'm gonna adore that and like I do think that hopefully will become like a favorite, but at the same time I've read so many incredible books this year that like I do not- if, if I found a book that I was like this is a favorite, this is number one, that would shock the fuck out of me because I have so many new all-time favorites from this year that I don't have a number one book in the slightest because I have just like so many god tier books that I can't choose so yeah maybe like if there is a number one book I'll be shocked but I don't know what it is yet if that makes sense so yeah have you already started making reading plans for 2021 um I would say a little bit because I have a lot of videos again um, that I'm still planning on making before the end of the year and I actually like all the ideas that I have that are like the main things that I want to work on I really would like to do that and make all these videos before the end of the year because I would really love to actually start the new year with a clean slate and actually just come up with new things and everything at the beginning of the year and just kind of get everything done that I've been wanting to do for months now and so yes but some reading goals that are not like super specific or like video specific are that i want to read more diversely i have definitely uh read so many incredibly diverse books this year and like queer books and books by authors of color and queer books by authors of color and you know like so many different things but i feel like um i could definitely read more books with disability representation and books by non-binary authors and trans authors and so those are kind of the goals that are like the main things that I really really want to do next year and another one is to read more physical books because I have done a terrible job at that and while it's great and I'm glad that I'm saving money and everything um I really need to I crave to read more physical books because I like I read let's say 15 to 20 books per month on average and like three of them are often just physical books and I don't want that you know I want it to be like a half maybe <laughs> so those are my main reading goals so that's gonna be it for this video uh, thank you so much for watching if you got this far in the video leave a uh, book emoji down below because I don't have any other ideas and um, thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe for more videos like this and question of the day what is your reading goal for the rest of the year or a book that you want to read before the end of the year and yeah have a great day and we'll see you soon in another video bye